So this is what we're gonna be installing today is the hood support. It's supposed to be like a strut. We're gonna install it right here and it's supposed to be replaced on this. You gotta get this piece right here. Let's put it as close as possible to the, the bolt. Tighten it too much. And then once it's tightened, you just pull it, it off. Yeah, and, and it a, stays right there. The skinny side at the bottom and the, the biggest side at the top. Just push it in. Push this in and there it is. here bringing you back a brand new video today today we're on the way to see Derek again we're gonna be installing our new dog tail spoiler that I just ordered like last week so yeah we're gonna be installing it and seeing how it looks I've been waiting to get this for a minute so I'm kind of not kind I'm really excited to finally do this we're also gonna be installing some airlift supports for the hood of the car Somebody contacted me and they actually sent me a free airlift support. So shout out to them. I'm gonna put the link down below. Uh, we're gonna install that too. Make sure you guys check them out. I'll put the link down below. Like I said, they have a bunch of different colors. I haven't opened none of the packages yet. So you guys are gonna see my first reaction right when we open it up. I also wanna say thank you guys for all the love you guys been showing on the videos lately for all the uploads. I hope you guys been enjoying them. Keep dropping a like a comment, subscribe, all that. If you guys wanna see a certain type of content or anything, please let me know. Drop a comment down below and I'll try to do that for you guys. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video and stay tuned and let's get the before and after. Let's go. Why I So look, so this is what we're gonna be installing today is the hood support, it's supposed to be like a strut. I told them to send me a purple one. They sent me a black one, but it was free. So I'm not really gonna complain. Yeah, so we're gonna install it right here. And it's supposed to go here and it's supposed to be replacing this. We are about to start right now. All uh, right, you're gonna have to remove this nut. You need a 14 millimeter. Be careful, don't remove all of them. Cause you take all of them, the port is gonna come off. hole and it's gonna reach over here and once you see it try to find it somewhere i think it's going over there's like a little thing here you have to play with it because i need to i need it to show it here Oh, and it stays. Wow. That's crazy. 
this part goes like this. Let's try it here. Uh, so yeah, he put it there, and then it just connects to that, and then that's it. Oh, oh no, it's normal, yeah, because we got to tighten it up. So it's more right now. Sí, sí, ya este lado. Tú, que otro porque tú estás boceando, ven, ya so yeah, ven, ya <laughs> All right, so we just finished this side, and we just finished tightening it up, so we are about to do the other side. So. Eric, I'm about to explain again. All right, you're gonna take this bolt off. It's a little tight in here, because we just installed one. Uh, 14 milliliter. What? Millimeter? Sorry. Millimeter, sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry. sorry. You're good, you're good. Um, make sure you try to get a long one so that you have more room to work with, because if you get a small one, it's gonna be kind of hard to take it off. And like I said, this is what holds this, the, the spring of uh, suspension. So if you take all of these off, your whole suspension might drop. Yeah, so you guys gotta just do this one right here. You gotta get this piece right here. Honestly, from what I've noticed, it doesn't matter how you install it. Um, obviously, you put it this way, it doesn't fit because of the holes. If you want it this way, you gotta widen the holes a little bit more. But yeah, you just put it this side. Uh, I just put it as close as possible to the, the bolt, put the nut in. You hand tighten it for now. Um, Cause from what we experienced over there, when you tighten it, this moves like that. So just hand tighten it for now. And then we can move on to the hood. So this is honestly like, you can say the hardest part. Not really. So you get the, the washer they give you and the, the nut, the bolt, sorry. Put the washer there, and then right here, you put it through this hole, you gotta find it in here. So honestly, it's all about playing with it. Uh, there we go. Once you find it, you put it in. Hand tighten it. You get a 12 millimeter wrench. Tighten it. Oh. Man, you caught that. So you tighten it before you let this go. You tighten it too much. And then once it's tightened, pull you just it pull out. it off. Yeah, and, and it stays right there. Take the next bolt they give you. Which is the one with the black tip, right? Yep. You put it literally any hole you want. Uh, we decided to put it down here. What you do is hand tighten this, and then you get the 14 milli millimeter. You 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 could you do you you want. Get the 14 millimeter in the back and the 12 in the front. You tighten whichever one you want. Okay, and once that's ready, you can tighten this a little. Like this. So, what I found is honestly just find a way to hold it. I just used the same uh, wrench that I used uh, and just push it back, I guess. So that way, it. yeah, so when it tightens it, all right, that's good. Yeah, that was perfect. Because when we did it with this one, we were tightening it. This will be moving the whole time. So you need something else to hold it so that that doesn't happen. And then to put this on. Um, start off with this so it's going to be the long side. It's going to be at the bottom. The skinny side at the bottom and the, the big side at the top. Just push it in. It goes right in. So it's simple and easy. Yeah. Push this in and there it is. That goes right into it. And now the whole thing is complete.
right, so next we are about to do the spoiler. We are about to remove this and put the new one. We already took this off that it goes over here. So all you gotta do is pop out the little things that be around here. Just pop them out. And then this is the new ducktail spoiler that we got that we're about to install. So all you need is the 3M tape. You just need this. You take these things off. It's bolted on. Let me see if I can get it for you guys to see right there. It's bolted on through there. And then that's how this will come off. All right, so you're gonna need, there's a bolt right in there on that side right there. Yep. And there's one on the other side. Everything else is just clips. Clips. For the bolts. Oh yeah, let me show you the clips. Yeah, these are the clips right there. For the bolts, you're gonna need an eight millimeter. Uh, try to get along, uh, to reach along. Uh, just be careful because it can get stuck in there and the bolt can't come down. Yeah, if it falls, <laughs> yeah, if it falls, you're screwed. So just take your time with it, be patient. Uh, you guys have this is just an, a magnet extension, so basically, any nuts, anything you lose or anything, and the, it looks like this. We haven't lost it, but, so that but just to prevent it. it. Um, what I do is I try to loosen it as much as I can and then I get the magnet I just use the magnet to hold it so I'm using the magnet for almost like a second hand comes right out and then we do the other side yeah that's perfect because where this is if like that's to fall down it'll fall like in here and like, then it'll be super hard to try to get out so that's probably the best what you to could also out. do is this uh, right you could also take it out you just bend the hood down so then if it falls to lay with it and that way when it falls, it falls, it's still on the, on the mat. I think, let's see. Let's see if you got it. No, it didn't come out yet. <laughs> that's the thing about these things, you don't. There we go. And that's just if you don't have the magnet. So that's another way to do it. So what I do is I get these long uh, tweezers, pliers, whatever you want to call them um and try to just to, these are pretty hard so what i do is let's try to start in the end there's also if i'm not mistaken yes there's three i'm in the corner of these things so just try to get one corner and then just lift it up because it's never going to come up because there's 3M right there. Right there. And then once you have one corner off, keep going. Just be careful because if you ever do want to put this back, these clips can break. Yeah, you use that one to squeeze it and then the other one to push it. And it comes right on. As you guys can see. white one in the middle. So you're doing it, all this is coming off right here. Oh, super dirty too. And then I got the glue on this side. So yeah, this was the old spoiler right here. And then yeah, that's also, mad dirty. <laughs> there's these little um, rubber clip things that we just want sealed. You can just take that off. Yeah, so these cars are known to be in this dirty, but under the 
Yeah, Put the old spoiler here. Look at the comparison. This was the regular black, the gloss black that I came with, and then this is the carbon fiber look. It's not actual carbon fiber because we don't make that money yet, but that's where we're gonna start off at. So try not to use. Anything that has alcohol, so they will ruin the paint. You can use water, Windex, wipes, that are non alcoholic. What about this? You take this off too? Uh, yeah, then we're gonna take off. You think you need the heat gun? Nah, you can take it off without a heat gun. Um, you have goo gun, that also works. The next part, we got some vinyl. Um, it's just pretty much just sticker, sticker, sticker. You can say. Honestly, you can use whatever you want. That's for the car. When we run the car to cover up these holes, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's just so when you put the the, the spoiler on, um, no matter how you put it, even these factory ones, the water does seep in. Like you saw, it was dirty. So this is just so. Um, nothing, if anything does go in, water does anything, it doesn't go in these holes, and then falls, and falls in the car, which will, you know, be bad and cause the inner liner and everything, so you don't want that. You gotta put in all of because they're all holes. Uh, the only thing is, on these end ones, uh, just be careful, put them uh, closer to, the, I'll show you on this side. So this sign is it. I still gotta clean that up, but you gotta put it towards more the back here. Um, only because, for example, the holes right here, if you put it like too centered, um, it might see through the spoiler and you can see it. Oh, okay. At least, um... the whole thing because it was running around so we got a little spaces but that should work but then this one has more space than this one After that, you just gotta put the things back on, the clips, and that's it. Alright, so we finished installing this. This is how it's looking right now. Let me see if it focus. I love the way that I look. So as you guys saw, we just finished installing everything. Shout out to Derek for putting in all the work. Yo, yeah, right, let yo. them know where they can find me. Yo, y'all can find me at Lexi.350F and you can also find me at Derek with 2K Vendor.
Let's go. So yeah, if you guys are in Jersey, just hit him up. If you guys need any installation, anything for your car, any Chrome delete, he got you. He's been doing all the modifications for Panda. So he got you for sure. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll be, we'll be here for the next one. We'll see what we do next. All right guys, so we just finished the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the installation. Shout out to Derek, cause he always hooking it up with all the mods installations for the car like i said before if you guys want to do anything with him you can hit him up on instagram if you guys want to do any installations any chrome deletes anything he will get it done for you guys right now i'm on my way home now since we just finished we didn't really check the weather but now it's starting to rain a little bit and we're not supposed to do stuff like that because the 3m tape won't stick if it's wet it's raining right now so now when i get home i gotta put something over the spoiler so it doesn't get as wet because if not, the tape won't work and the spoiler could come off easily since it's not dried and secure yet. Other than that, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I'm going to be including the link for the spoiler as well as the support struts. Shout out to Alan. He sent me an email letting me know that they saw my video of the D2 Lawrence Springs. And he told me that if I want to make a video, he will send me the lift support for free. So shout out to him. I wanted the purple one, I'm not gonna lie. There was a purple carbon fiber look one that I really, really wanted because I like the purple for Panda. But maybe in the future, I'll probably switch to the purple or maybe the red. Like I said before, I'll put the links down below in the description. So if you guys wanna check it out, it was pretty easy to install. Same thing with the spoiler. So yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to watch the last video, the LC World Tour Drift Show. Go check that out. If you guys haven't seen the past few videos, we did the lowering the car, we did the photo shoot, we did the car show, and we're gonna continue posting more videos throughout the week. So if you haven't yet, make sure you guys subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. I came in with my ex, like Selena, the flats, eh? bumping Justin Bieber, the fever, and left. She know what she need, or her need, or she blessed, ayy Giving my 